Groom and grow rich. Yes, you heard that correctly. Groom and grow rich. When you are well-groomed and put together, you are taken more seriously in the business world. People size you up in the first nine seconds. You have nine seconds to make a first impression. And you know what they say, that you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. They observe how you look and they listen to how you talk. We all size people up pretty quickly. That's why it's important to be well-groomed. Now notice I didn't say beautiful or handsome. That's genetic. We don't have a lot of control over that. I'm talking about being the best that you can possibly be. I'm not talking about being a cover model, which most of us aren't. Dress and grooming significantly affects your professional success. So strive to be well-groomed and attractive from the top of your head to the soles of your shoes. While it's true a person has the right to dress or groom however they please, it's also true that others have a right to react as they wish to that person's dress and grooming. When you look great, in other words, when you work with what you have and be the best you can be, it is recognized by others. For instance, if you're a financial planner, it pays to look good because it tells people that you are detail-oriented and will exercise those same habits with their money. Whether you are a man or a woman, the details you personally practice, you communicate to your client, guest, or potential customer, the very same behavior you're going to use with them. And when you look great, you unconsciously raise the bar for your own conversation and the words that you choose. Think about what Coco Chanel said. If a woman is poorly dressed, you notice the dress. If she's impeccably dressed, you notice the woman. So how does this relate to growing rich? People are not just impressed, but comfortable with people who are detail-oriented. They are more likely to work with you, put money in your hand, and do business with you. Does this mean wearing a suit? No, it means dressing appropriately for your trade or profession, but being impeccably but appropriately groomed for your trade or profession. So take the extra minute. Dress and groom a tiny bit better than your industry standard. Some people will say something like, well, I like to dress comfortable, and I'm not asking you to be uncomfortable. Be comfortable, well-dressed, and groomed. In a room full of your industry peers, be the one person that stands out. Your customers and prospects appreciate the extra minute you spend. And it also says you respect them. You never have to make an excuse for being overdressed or optimally groomed. You do business with people. People are the key to your business. Whatever business you're in, know that your first and foremost business is the people business. Never let your image be an objection or a reason why people don't do business with you. Stay groomed, stay sharp, be the magnet that people are attracted to. It doesn't take more money, it only takes a little bit more effort. So I want to personally welcome you in for a consultation, whether you're a woman or a man, thinking of a new cut and color or a new style, or even if you're just curious about what a creative stylist can do for you. This is George Bruno. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you soon.